Hello everyone, this is Jeannie, also known as Scrapbooking Mamma. I'm also a proud guest design team member with uh, Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on their Facebook page. And in the month of April, in the members room of that boutique members room, we have an April challenge and the challenge, or actually an April swap. Our swap is uh, to do a pocket letter. And I had never done one before, so I figured, you know, this might be something to learn, something new to learn, and uh, something, you know, that might be, you know, fairly easy to do that I can make more of quickly. And uh, so I wanted to, there's a lot of YouTube, uh, YouTube tutorials on it, can't talk, but there's a lot of tutorials on them. So I wanted to uh, look them all over, and uh, one of the ones that I went through to look at really carefully was Tammy Sims on YouTube. She has uh, her channel's S Crafter 1 and so be sure to check her out. So the first thing that I had done, uh, what, well of course I made my pocket letter first, but on the wrapper I want to show that to you first. The wrapper I had uh, some card stack stock that was in my stash and I went ahead and used it as a wrapper but rather than making a band around it I went ahead and velcroed it together and then I had decorated the, the top of it and the top of it has the stenciling technique that Tammy had used and so I went ahead and used it as a rose stenciling by Prima so I embossed that and uh, let it dry and then, uh, then I had made some, uh, a flower with two layers on it, cut those out by hand, and uh, then I used lace that I got from the sister group from the Lighthouse Stop and Shop. So I put all that on there, and the flowers, I forgot to mention, the flowers are made from a sweet Paris paper pack. And then I added this charm of a, the Eiffel Tower because I thought it went well with what I was doing, Sweet Paris. So anyway, let me open up the inside of it now and I'll show that to you. Now here's the inside of it. In the first group you'll see, uh, maybe too close. The first group you'll see is uh, this line here in the, the first section pocket. I've got uh, simply made a card. I cut it out with the uh, POW uh, glitter that I got through the boutique. This glitter does not rub off. I love this paper line and it's so pretty. And so anyway, I decorated it and uh, used uh, different embellishments from the boutique. And now this was in my stash here, but I used little pieces from the uh, d other lines that I had in my stash. And then on the back, I just put a little card on there about me. And then the middle one, I decorated on the outside with this chipboard. It says, you make me happy. And that I had in my stash also. And then the card I decorated uh, also from this, this sweet Paris pack. Ever All the paper that's printed was from that Paris paper pack. And then the chipboard was in that line also, and I embossed it with uh, copper metallic. And then I decorated the edge of it with uh, lace and some rhinestones that was in my stash. And then in the back of that pocket, I put in some little clothespins, little wooden clothespins. She does a lot of uh, Project Live. She's got, got an awesome, awesome line that she does uh, projects. And uh, you can check her out on Casey's Creations on YouTube also. So let me get that back in there. And then on this one, I had put gold lettering that says die cuts on it. And I decorated that card in uh, the paper and, and the bow and the, the butterfly and the pearls all came from the boutique also. Let me go ahead and pull that out. And then behind that are the die cuts. And I have different kinds. And there also have some chipboard die cuts in there. So that's what I did on that one. Let me get the card in first. Might be easier to do. Maybe. Upside down is not easy to do. So I'll turn it around a little bit or I'll wait and put it in later when I can concentrate on it better. 
So my bow got twisted. I will fix that in a little bit. I don't want to don't want to make this video too long. Okay, in the next section, the middle section, I have this piece right here. Now the only thing I did on this little card was put a lace applique that I had got from the lighthouse and I just taped it on a little bit because I want her to be able to take it off and use it and once that's taken off it's going to have still have this little flower in the center to kind of decorate that and uh, it says on here a note and on the back of that I had just put a little card about our, our friendship with each other and I had put friends on the front of it. I hope I got didn't get all out of focus on some of these. But anyway, uh, I put friends on it, and then I just uh, you know talked with her about some things that that I you know felt was meaningful for me about her friendship with me. So I won't let you see that. That's hers. So the next one, the metal one, I had embossed a, a chipboard piece with uh, silver embossing powder. That's on the outside. And then the card, see if I can get hold of it. I can't get hold of it. That's up 30 seconds right there. I won't pull it all the way out. But anyway, um, I might need to. I decorated it with some pearls, some swirly pearls. I just kind of cut some of them out and did it that way. And then a little chalkboard uh, quote here that I uh, put in there because this section, this this section was quotes, and I wanted her to you know have those quotes. So that's what that one is. And then the next one, this piece here is just a card filled, wrapped it with lace. I had wrapped it all the way around. And then I put some th these little paper clips that have the lace on the top of them. So that's what that card is all about. Just something for her to use in her projects. See if I can get back in. They're not easy to get back in, so I'll probably have to pull that one out and put it back in later. But then on the back of, of this one, I had put a little uh, wood piece that I had embossed with, with uh, silver and gold. So that's what's on the back of that one. And then the next section, the last section, has the word stamps in gold here. And I had put a charm for a necklace if she wanted to put it on a necklace or a bracelet or whatever she wants to do. I had uh, put a brad and attached it to that card so it's easy to get off. She won't have to worry about taking it on and off. And then that brad can stay on there or she can replace uh, that charm with something else and use that brad. And then I put a little uh, white rose on, on the front of that. And then a little bit of lace that I got from the lighthouse. And um, another swirly. And then on the back of that, uh, since I had the word stamps, obviously it's going to have stamps on the back. So there you go there. I thought that was cute. And then the middle section, and you already saw what's on the back probably, but on the middle section I've got the word tea party that came from the Botanical uh, Gardens paper pack. And uh, then I had used a spoon that I put in my, uh, I had in my stash. And I put, they had a rhinestone up here already, so I went ahead and put one right down there too, because I thought that would be cute. And then, of course, on the back of that, since it's a tea party, I had a bag of tea on, in it. So you probably saw that already, but let me show you again. Just English breakfast, you know, to me that sounds very, very classy, so that's why I put that in there. And then this one is a uh, uh, the quote says, friends give full color to our lives, and the reason I did that was because I had put these little sequin embellishments in there, and was all different colors in there. And also there's three charms that are shaped of hearts uh, to represent one for each of her children. She's got three children, two girls and a boy, and I thought she could put that on a necklace or a bracelet again. 
and that would be you know something uh, for for me to her for her children so anyway there is my project I've got other goodies I've given her also that I won't share with those right now so but I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you please subscribe to my channel and uh, share this please and all the links with the boutique will be below thank you God bless